We're blessed on the Christ Cathedral campus with a beautiful cathedral, a chapel in the sky that is magnificent, a number of different places for us to gather and pray. And even with all of these spaces, many times we still are missing space for people to come to pray, especially to celebrate the life of a loved one as we give them Christian burial or the union of a husband and wife or the birth of a child in baptism. And so the St. Callistus Chapel, which will be in the undercroft or the basement of the cathedral, will be a smaller chapel holding just a couple hundred people, but will give us flexibility to have even more services to better serve you as you come to the church in these special moments. Hello everyone. Now you see just on my right side, just a wide door, but right now I will open the door and then bring you inside and you see the future beautiful, magnificent St. Calista Chapel and Crypts. So in the future, when the completion of the chapel and crypts, we will see this is the main aisle lead into the altar and the tabernacle right there. The chapel will be designed in a modern Byzantine style, so a lot of gold, a lot of resemblance to some of the churches in Europe, which is very different than the Christ Cathedral. So it would be a nice addition architecturally to our campus. We'll have space for our bishops to be buried that then we'll be able to continue to pray for the repose of their soul, but also there'll be cremation niches for the faithful. Having St. Callistus Chapel is also a recognition of, of those people who built St. Callistus Parish and moving the entire parish to the cathedral campus must have been a, a painful process for many people. Now to see that a chapel is named after St. Callistus, I, I believe that would bring about much healing and more comfort to the people. And they can fully embrace this Christ Cathedral and St. Callistus Chapel as their spiritual home. Though we gain a beautiful new campus in the end, losing St. Callistus was not easy. For generations, our St. Callistus family's worship learned and share so many moments of great joy at the church. To honor them, we have named the chapel and the cross after St. Callistus, paying tribute to both the memory of the parish and its parishioners. We've all been very generous in supporting the good work of our diocese over the years, the creation of this campus, and yet we still have this one last leg to cross. This is the dream of our Bishop Van. Let us put together our effort to help our Bishop for his last dream uh, for the completion of the Christ Cathedral. We're asking if you're able to come to assist us to be part of this historic opportunity. So I invite you to join me in making a commitment to support this final aspect of our transformation of the Cathedral Campus.